can do right now is get here, create a new application and I'm specifically going to pick a console application as a starting point. And I'm just going to write some fairly simple code here. And I'm also going to write a different thing, which is size of pointer. Just to see that this is in fact a 64-bit compiler. Um, I'm going to add also a read line so we can stop the execution specifically on Windows. So if we run this on Windows, we get hello and four. Of course, we can also on Windows build it as um, build as a 64-bit Windows application, in which case we get hello and, and eight. Uh, but the other thing we can do is I can take on my Linux box here running inside uh, VMware. Um, I've already started PA server on this machine. Uh, you can see this is PA server running with a given um, IP address. Uh, next, you have to configure your environment so that the, if I add the Linux platform, I add also a connection to this machine running PA server that's used for deployment. And the other thing, I also have a SDK configure. I already imported the SDK from my Ubuntu uh, machine. So having already done those steps, I'm ready to build the application. And again, the development is done completely on the Windows side and I can then deploy the application and run it on my, with fairly simple and direct. Um, and I'm, I've, I've got my application running on, uh, on Linux. Now the application is separately deployed. So there is actually a folder that's created, it's called the scratch there. So if I exit from the PA server, uh, PA server, scratch dear, and I think it's um, Marco Ubuntu VM. This is my username and the name of the of the target machine. Here you can see that I've actually deployed a couple of applications. This is called Project 11. So uh, inside the Project 11 folder, um, there is in fact my executable. So I can just run it directly, execute my Linux application. And if we examine it, this is my standalone application with debug information deployed on Linux. <laughs>